bloke here on the bed with the man who had one of the great, great hairdos in the whole history of rock music, made some of the great, great singles in the whole history of music, and now is on the bed in all his lithe, languorous glory. Hi there. Hello. Now tell me, <laughs> your new single, Tell Me When, which we, we have all sung continuously all morning, just because we saw one little fragment of it at about ten past five this morning and now we can't stop. Are you very thrilled that it's such a hit? No, we're, we're, we're really worried about everything again, as usual. We, we only see doom after like 15 years of doom. We, we see it everywhere. We're Jeez. from the north, actually. <laughs> you have that sort of bro brooding soul, do you? Yeah. No, I mean, everything sort of went, went so badly wrong along the way that, that every time someone comes along and says it's going to work, we always think, no, it won't, you know. Do we'll, you think that's we'll a good thing, soon. though? Maybe it's a good thing. I don't know. I mean, I think the nerves that we get all the time, which we should really have got rid of years ago, aren't a good thing. If we could just turn up and like do TV shows and things and not chew our nails down for weeks beforehand, do we'd you? be doing better. Oh, yeah. Oh, Philly, you're nervous. Yeah. Oh, sweetheart, I don't like to think of you feeling nervous. British groups are supposed to be nervous, though. Yeah, I suppose you have got that edge. Mm. <laughs> now, when you said that everything went so badly wrong, do you know why? I mean, when you look back on it, can you pinpoint when it started to spiral? Um, we got confused about what we were doing, really. I think possibly we were too nice, and, and we let people tell us what to do along the way. Uh, when we should, we, you know, we, we had quite a good thing going, we knew what we were doing, a bit of synth pop and all that, anything this side of rock, and, and we compromised with everyone. Mm. Did you spend loads of money? Because you must have made so much money in the 80s. I think I mean, we must hit have. after hit. Yeah, the, I mean, a load of money went about, wasn't there? We, we, we sold five million LPs, so there's 25 million quid somewhere. But, oh. like, well, we keep telling people, I've got a mortgage on a house, which is the same house I've been in for, like, ten years, and I've ever bought two second-hand cars in my life. Oh, that's not good, is it, Phil? I don't That's know. That's not good money management somewhere yeah, along yeah, the line. Yeah, but on the other hand, we're still here, and uh, I think if we'd, if we'd, like, all made a couple of million each, We'd be living in LA or something, oh. as it is we're living on the Attercliffe Road in Sheffield. But you love Sheffield, don't you? Don't you? I always it's thought you good were enough. singing about Sheffield. It's good enough. Yeah, I mean, I mean we, we like everywhere we go, you know, everywhere's sort of great. Now, what did you do when you've been away? Because it's sort of five years, isn't it, about? Yeah. What have you been doing? We uh, got the sack from Virgin, uh, interestingly. <laughs> the uh, fools! How they must be kicking themselves. I don't know, because they changed to a different operation. They were bought by EMI, and they're more like a back catalogue sort of thing. So they didn't really want to work hard on doing new stuff. And, and it sort of makes sense. We were upset at the time, mm. because it's horrible getting the sack, folks. Yeah, dreadful. Yeah. What did you do? Just go back to Sheffield and lie in the kitchen? Uh, yeah, more or less. Uh, but we, we thought that because we, we were in Sheffield and we got isolated, you know, we never got a visit from, from a and at the record company for over three years and things. We thought that no one liked us anymore, so our solicitor sent some letters around and suddenly we were in the offices with the head of, of the biggest record companies in the world who were being nice to us and saying, we like you. And from that point. Tell me about your nipples. Well, uh, I've got... Because you were the first person probably in the history of the world to have his nipples pierced, weren't you? I must have got the idea from somewhere, though. I know, but you were. You had them done, like, 15 years Everyone ago. Everyone did were that done. in Sheffield. Though they were they were un unusual days. People used to go out and get drunk and come back and pierce something. Yeah, but that's and what I I stopped. To know. You did it yourself, didn't you? Yeah. Now tell us the story because I still remember the story from fifteen years ago. No, they were easy. They were easy. You just get a cork and, and a needle and bang it through. That oh. now that was hard. That took two hours. Oh. And it didn't it, it didn't. People fix mustn't itself. do that at home, of course. Oh no. Speaking as a mother, please don't do that with your corks. Well, we kept quiet about that for, for like all the time through that we were selling records. We thought, oh, kids will emulate us, so we never said anything. And now they go on TV with it, don't they? Yeah, they do. They yeah. do. They do piercings on TV. Yeah. Oh, goodness, they didn't do yours. Did the blood go everywhere? No, there's not much blood. Oh, God, it made me go a bit wibbly. Well, I used to work in a plastic surgery hospital, so it didn't seem very important with what, what was I that saw. Like? It was exciting. What was it? People having tattoos removed, mainly? There, were, there was a bit of that, but it, it was mainly a sort of a medical thing, and I was, I was the theatre... Theater, not quite the theatre porter. 
there. I used to wheel them in and fight with, with them. With your hair all out. hanging down and stilettos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it must have been great. They must have thought, God, the pre med's good here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, finally, what are you doing next? Um, we're just going to get on with sort of pushing this LP, which we're, we're like very pleased with it. You know, we finally found a producer that we can get on with, mm. and that means we've done a good LP. That, we've, we've always had that bit missing in the group. What's it called? It's going to be called Octopus. And it's going to be so fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's all right. Yeah. It's been very lovely to have you on the bed. It's made me long to go to Sheffield and be wothered. Right. <laughs> and now it's time for today's super hint to pop back.